Which one? Uh, seems to be uh, that one. Mm -hmm. Salt, and then that one there. Good salt. Excellent. But it seems to be we're also going to need to sell this one here. Then it is sold. Much better. After we sell the rest, we'll sell these. Nothing like sold sign to get a buyer's blood going. I was in Paris this morning. The paper will talk already. Excellent. What do they say? Miller the Jean from Sommier, one day sick, is the greatest artist since Mickey Angelo. Several of them said they regarded me as a rising great master for years. Asked if he was as ill as the paper said he was. And when I said he couldn't possibly live many weeks, they said his death would be an awful blow to France. <laughs> And that's one man with it on that he was hearing me his name for the first time. Oh, that's what I call human nature. No, no, that's what I call the power of the press. I got the A worked into the Paris correspondence of the London Times. The London Times? Why, that'll wake up the whole world. Well, maybe the French, anyway. Headline. <laughs> Immortal Gaelic genius, dying slow and miserable death. But if he's immortal... How could he die any death? <laughs> <laughs> that was a time for German paradox, you sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, Jean-Francois Millet, the French nation's greatest gift to the world, has been struck down by a disease so unspeakable it can only be mentioned in whispers. He has left for the Barbary Coast. Where is the Barbary Coast? Hanged if I know. Well, then what did you put it in for? Well, he had to go somewhere, hadn't he? <laughs> Muggins. And there'll be people down here to buy today, too, you'll see. Oh, <coughs> wait a minute. You can't face the public in trousers like that. You look like a lightning bug. Here. <laughs> I got an idea. Bend over. Thing. No, 
uh, steel and mega cannon and more whalebone than the beach of Nantucket. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried painting in this thingamajig? It's tighter than Sunday in this thing. I keep on feeling like there's two of me inside of here and I'm not used to company inside my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a widow. Aren't I being black? That's the funniest thing I could rustle up on short notice. Pink? I'm not made for pink. Don't true. You ain't the pink personality. <laughs> Anybody like the pink self? You can prance around it. <laughs> oh. oh, Christmas, I, I, I've sold out. Don't get excited. These signs are just to keep the blood going. We'll, uh, we'll dribble these off a few at a time. And uh, once the prices are peaking, we'll kill you off and send the prices through the roof. Kill me, yay, off you mean. And where does that leave me? And who's got a cigar? None of that, my girl. I can't, I can't have a cigar? Who are you a fool if somebody sees you puffing on a stove? Oh. And don't just throw yourself on a couch like a sack of laundry. The ladies, they all do it like this when they sit down. You shoop the thing underneath, you have to shoop this. <laughs> 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 you cannot fall, you gotta zinc. So I zinc, you shoop, and then you zinc. <laughs> you gotta sing. Put a little curve in it. Next one. <laughs> Why don't you two swoop and zinc on your own time? No. Oh, Lord, I feel so miserable. Who's got a handkerchief? <laughs> uh, never mind. I'll save it for my funeral. Irish consolation. Thank you. <laughs> oh! Somebody's coming! Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, um. Uh. Get your hands off this, sir! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>